Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here on a very, very wet day in Jerusalem in uh, January. I'm going today to a place called, listed on Google Maps as Indian Cemetery. Apparently it's a war cemetery. Yes, this is the weekend in Israel and yes, I am spending my Friday afternoon going out to a historical cemetery. Uh, really when the weather is this bad in Jerusalem, uh, especially when it's on a Friday because and especially in the winter, this is like the perfect storm of disruption. Really hard to get anything done except stay at home, so I figured I may as well take some exercise. I also wanted to put the Fumi Pam 2 through its paces. It's supposed to be a water resistant camera, not waterproof, but water resistant. I just had a huge truck drive right next to me and spill a bunch of water, so hopefully this won't be the end of the Fumi or the YouTube channel, but we'll see. So um, I'm here. this is in Getty Street, this place is in Arnona and I only discovered this feature recently, the safe places thing. Sorry if I already mentioned that, this is actually the second or third take uh, because the camera keeps freezing. I definitely hope to upgrade to the Osmo Pocket at some point because the Femi is a better battery life but there's just too many bugs with the camera. I often have to like stop and restart videos, so I'm finding that a bit annoying. So what I was saying was, save places is a really nice feature, I just discovered it. You can save places in your area, save them, and then when you're on the, out and about, turn on GPS, open up the Google Maps app, and then you can go and navigate. So this is how I discovered this place. Never really heard about it, I'm just kind of clutching my phone while I operate this camera. Six minutes away, not far. So this is coming into Arnona, which is like a really, we're already there actually, because it's other side of Derek Hevron. Really uh, just residential neighborhood in Jerusalem and South Jerusalem. It is basically across that road from Baca. And uh, Talpiot is also bordering it. My phone is vibrating, so it's telling me to do something. Go right here. So I don't think there's going to be so much to see here, except for a plaque, which is visible on Google Maps, but I will go and check it out anyway, leave her a Google Map review. I've also started uh, adding missing places to Google Maps, which is fun. I have a few additions from this week's exploring that are pending adding. I'm just trying to recenter the gimbal here because it might need a calibration that's a little bit off-center. Anyway, this is Jerusalem in the rain. Israel kind of falls apart when it starts raining. The internet tends to go down. Um, how else does it fall apart? Traffic jams. People drive with the same insanity that they're accustomed to, even in regular weather. So there's that. Uh, electricity cuts out. Appliances break, we just had our air conditioner break actually Probably because the rain got in the system or something So it's kind of a little bit entertaining to me Coming from Cork in Ireland where It's rainy like continuously And the idea of the power going out just because it's raining is kind of farcical But that's pretty much what happens here I mean I'm sure it depends on the quality of Infrastructure to Your particular building whatever but uh Every apartment I've rented so far in Jerusalem has had these issues, let's just say. So, according to Google Maps, we are now just three minutes away from the Indian Cemetery. So, what is it, about three o'clock? Sun goes down here really early, like half four. So it's been a struggle to get any of these YouTube videos done because it's not really the end of the workday. So I kind of take a couple of hours off and go get back to work usually. Really, really early. Can't wait for the winter to be over. And with uh, Shabbat, stuff closes super early in Jerusalem in the winter. Shops have what's called Sha'on Kites and Sha'on Choref, which literally means winter hours. So we're in Sha'on Choref now. So that means that, you know, a supermarket, let's say, 
we'll say like we're open till two in the winter when we're on Shao and Khoref and we're open till three, three thirty maybe in the summer. So in these kind of suburbs of Jerusalem, southern Jerusalem, it's um it can be super frustrating to you know if you sleep in or whatever uh, just to get shopping done you have to kind of look for these places that aren't Shabbat observant or as I mentioned yesterday when I was in East Jerusalem you go somewhere like that here is the Caspi family home an eclectic building built in 1926 for Mordechai Caspi one of the founders of Talpio neighborhood a Zionist activist and personal secretary to the first day president Chaim Weizmann the flagpole at the front is a reminiscence of his role as Latvia's consul. Oh, I love flagpoles. Ah, oh, there's a flagpole. There you go. Ah! Rain attack, rain attack. Okay, one minute away. Thankfully, big sacrifice for this YouTube channel. So, um, anyway, this drew some on a rainy day. The rainy season is like, what I find interesting living in Israel now for six seven years coming from ireland is how seasonal the weather is here it's like there's winter and winter starts on like you can almost pinpoint the day just suddenly gets rainy and you can equally almost pinpoint the day where winter ends it's like there really aren't kind of these transitional seasons of spring and spring and autumn ah here we go another one angel family home built in 1926 in the eclectic style for slomo angle founder of the angle bed breakery Family left the neighborhood. I feel like they're kind of stretching the historical significance a little bit of some of these places. Angels like, uh, you know, bread manufacturer, or whatever, will let the city drew some relish in its historical intrigue. Okay, I think we're finally here. Yes, according to Google Maps, we are indeed. The Indian Cemetery. These are signs for bomb shelters, by the way. That's what Hebrew means, what? Miklats means in Hebrew. So there's public shelters. The Jerusalem municipality maintains a list of them. And you'll often find very frustratingly that they're not even open the rare time you need them in times of conflict. When there was those rockets from Gaza that recently fell here, we found with some dismay that our local shelters were not even, in fact, they were padlocked. So that was irritating. Anyway, here we go. The Indian Cemetery lot was expropriated by the British government from APC Bank in 1918 to bury 290 Turkish soldiers who died in captivity and 97 Indian soldiers who fought in the British Army. The neighborhood committee agreed that the cemetery remains provided that the scriptures appear also in Hebrew. One tombstone states that the cemetery is a gift from Talpio residents. Commonwealth War Graves Commission, Jerusalem Indian Cemetery. To visit the cemetery, please call our local office. So oh, that's interesting. You can't actually visit. Anyway, you're going to you're gonna get the periphery periphery view of the Indian Cemetery. In fact, I'll just stick the camera here. That's the best I can do today. Sorry about this uh, mishap. Didn't mention that, see, that's why you have to leave reviews on Google Maps to alert other people that uh, you can't actually go to see it. In any event, this was a rainy day in Jerusalem in January. Thank you for uh, sticking with the video, if you made it this far. More Jerusalem explorations and adventures coming up soon.